Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 11 whole to the power 4 plus x plus 9 whole to the power 4 is equal to 706. We need to find all possible values of x. We can write this 11 as we can write this 11 as 10 plus 1 and we can write this 9 as we can write this 9 as 10 minus 1 like this x plus we write this 11 as 10 plus 1 whole to the power this power 4 plus x plus we write this 9 as 10 minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 706 now here we have x plus 10 and here we have x plus 10 so we suppose that let x plus 10 is equal to m and we substitute m in this equation then this equation becomes m plus 1 whole to the power 4 plus m minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 706. Now we can write this uh, m plus 1 whole to the power 4 as m plus 1 whole to the power 2 times 2 plus we can write this uh, m minus 1 whole to the power 4 as m minus 1 whole to the power 2 times 2 is equal to 706. Next, we can write this uh, m plus 1 whole to the power 2 times 2 as m plus 1 whole squared and whole to the power 2. Plus, we can write this uh, m minus 1 whole to the power 2 times 2 as m minus 1 whole squared and whole to the power 2 is equal to 706. Now, according to this algebraic identity, a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. This uh, m plus 1 whole squared is equal to m squared plus 1 plus 2m whole to the power this power 2 plus according to this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab this uh, m minus 1 whole squared is equal to m squared plus 1 minus 2m whole to the power this power 2 is equal to 706 now here we have m squared plus 1 and here we have m squared plus 1 and here we have 2m and here we have 2m so we suppose that let a is equal to m squared plus 1 and b is equal to 2m and we substitute a and b in this equation then this equation becomes a plus b whole squared plus a minus b whole squared is equal to 706 now this a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab plus this a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab is equal to 706. Now this positive 2ab will be cancelled with this negative 2ab and this 1a squared plus this 1a squared 2a squared plus this 1b squared plus this 1b squared it becomes 2b squared is equal to 706 now we can factor out 2 from here 
2 as a common factor and in bracket left a squared plus b squared is equal to 706. Now from here we divide both sides of this equation by 2. At right side we divide by 2. So this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and at left side left a squared plus b squared is equal to 706 divided by 2 353. Now in place of this a we put the value of a m squared plus 1 and in place of this b we put the value of b 2m. So this a squared becomes m squared plus 1 whole squared plus this b squared becomes 2m squared is equal to 353. Now this m squared plus 1 whole squared is equal to m to the power 4 plus 2m squared plus 1 plus this 2m squared is 4m squared is equal to 353. Next, m to the power 4 plus 2m squared plus 4m squared plus 6m squared plus this one and we move this 353 to the left side. It becomes negative 353 is equal to 0. Now, we can write this m to the power 4 as m squared whole to the power 2 plus 6m squared and plus 1 minus 353 negative 352 is equal to 0. Now here we have m squared and here we have m squared. So we suppose that let m squared is equal to y and we substitute y in this equation then this equation becomes y squared plus 6y minus 352 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and is factorable so we solve it by factorization. We write this y squared as it is y squared and we split this plus 6y as we split this 6y as plus 22y minus 16y because 22 times negative 16 is negative 352 and plus 22 minus 16 is equal to this 6. So we split this plus 6y as plus 22y minus 16y minus this 352 is equal to 0. Now from these two terms uh, y squared plus 22y we can factor out y. y as a common factor and in bracket left y plus 22. And from these two terms uh, negative 16y minus 352 we can factor out negative 16 and in bracket left y plus 22 is equal to 0. Now as you can see this expression y plus 22 y plus 22 is a common factor. So we factor out this y plus 22 and in bracket left in bracket left this y and this negative 16 in bracket left y minus 16 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression y plus 22 is equal to 0 or this expression y minus 16 is equal to 0. From here y is equal to negative 22 and from here y is equal to 16. Now recall that recall that m squared is equal to y. 
recall that m squared is equal to y so first in this equation we put the value of y negative 22 so m squared is equal to negative 22 and we take square root of both sides and this square will be cancelled with this square root and we get the value of m square root of negative 22 so no real solutions can be found from here now in this equation we put the value of y 16 m squared is equal to value of y is now 16 and from here we take square root of both sides so this square will be cancelled with this square root and we get the value of m plus or minus 4 so from here we get two values of m m1 is equal to 4 and m2 is equal to negative 4 but we need to find the value of x so recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x plus 10 is equal to m we have supposed that x plus 10 is equal to m first in this equation we put the value of m 4 so x plus 10 is equal to 4 and x is equal to 4 minus 10 x is equal to negative 6 this is the first value of x now in this equation we put the value of m negative 4 so x plus 10 is equal to value of m is now negative 4 and x is equal to negative 4 minus 10 x is equal to negative 14 this is the second value of x so these are the two solutions of this equation